guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. And guess what? I'm going to share with you guys the power of uh, gratitude. That gratitude is a powerful word. So I'm going to share with you how gratitude has changed my life. And hopefully it can change yours too. Coming right up. Guys, do not go away. Coming right up. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate that. Hey, if this is your first time, um, please hit that subscribe button down there. And if you're returning, hey, thank you for coming back. I definitely appreciate that. So today I want to talk to you about the power of grateful or being grateful or showing I mean, um, gratitude. Okay, so um, I have used that a lot. You know, I'm thinking like probably not in one or two years. And it really had changed my life a lot. So I want to share with you what I have learned, how it changed my life. One thing I have noticed, and um, every morning, like when you get up, you have to do a spill say, saying to yourself, or just stand in the mirror or whatever and say, I'm grateful for being alive. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my health and well-being, whatever it is that you're grateful for when you wake up. So you need to say that I am grateful when you first wake up in the morning. And that's every morning. And once you say that, then you know more of those good things will come back to you. You're grateful for your friends, you're grateful for your family. And some of you may say, oh, um, I'm not, I can't say I'm grateful for money because I only have just a little bit of money in my account. But you know, if you're grateful for the money that you have in your account, more money will come to you more money will come to you guys and I have experienced this. My life has changed since I have been using this just powerful word of uh, gratitude and being grateful. So um, also too, I made some rocks here that I want to share with you guys. And you may see these rocks in, um, in your city and your state. Hopefully they're um, handmade by me and um, if you happen to see one of my rocks, just um, make sure that you come to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel. I definitely appreciate that. But this one said, I'm blessed. Blessed, faith, and loved. You know, so you got to have faith. And you always have to be blessed. Say, I'm grateful and I'm blessed for what I do have. Or I'm blessed um, what you may want. Or you, you can bless somebody else too. Like I said, just saying grateful or having a gratitude, all this stuff will come back, guys. So I hope you like this rock. You may find it in your city or in your state. And I um, have another one here. Um, This one is called gratitude. Gratitude, love, and health, joy, and family. This nice little rock here. And I had a good time making these rocks, these gratitude rocks. I had fun. And it's also um, a good stress reliever too. So you want to be grateful for your health. You say in the morning or even before you go to bed, I'm grateful for my health. Even though your health may not be as good as you want, but you know, just be grateful for how your health is that you're able to get up. You know, um, a lot of us think that alarm clock will wake us up in the morning. But no, our power, God, our high power, as we know him, wake us up in the morning. So that long clock, we just hear it, you know? So also just be grateful for your health and be grateful for being awake. And this is love. Another nice rock I had a great time doing. It's called my sunshine rock. Hopefully you'll find this one. And, um, you know, you're grateful for your love. You're grateful for if you with someone or you're grateful for your loved ones, you know, just always say, I am grateful. Once you always put that grateful first, guys, it will come back to you in a good way. And like I say, I'm a living witness for it. Witness and experience person, but just by using gratitude. And this one is health and wealth. Okay, like I was telling you too about, you know, no matter how much money that you have in the bank, just be happy that you have money in the bank. So I'm grateful for the money that I do have. And the thing you know, you know, more money can come, just like it happened to me. So I guess I'm a living witness. Another nice rock that I had a good time doing. And um, this one is, I'm grateful for family and friends. 
like I was telling you earlier. Grateful for family and friends. See that beautiful rock? Love this one. And um, this one here I love best. I like this one. So it says, I am blessed. This one here. Pretty cool. You like that one? Yeah, you're blessed. You're blessed to be alive. You're blessed to have a job. You're blessed to whatever kind of money that you have coming in. You know, you're blessed. So just be grateful and say, I am blessed and I'm grateful for whatever the case may be. Guys, more of that will come back to you. Here's another another, another little um, love rock that I have that I had a good time doing with the flowers and stuff. Pretty cool. Yeah, so just try to find something too that you like and stuff. And hopefully, um, you know, you have that inner peace, calmness that'll make you, you know, happier, you know. Um, and the 2020, the new decade that's coming up, my God, come to think about it, this year has flew by. It has flown by so fast. But we got another decade coming up, and we need to make some changes. And, you know, these are some good changes to make. And this one says, um, pray more, worry less. That's another thing. Pray more and worry less. Okay? Try to worry less. You know, because when you uh, worry, ain't nothing going to change when you worry. So why not give your worries to your high power of God as you know it and just give it to Him and let Him deal with it because you can't change anything by worry. So pray more and worry less. I really like this one. I really like that rock. And this one here is faith and believe. Another rock. Having faith and believe. So if you have... Uh, faith then you can believe so let me say this again if you have faith then you believe you believe whatever that's going to happen because you have faith and you believe in it so this is another one that I like too that um, I want to share with you guys so you know try to go in this 2020 um, being more happy it's a whole new decade. It's a whole new decade coming. And try some of this stuff. You know, waking up in the morning and say, I'm grateful for my health, wealth, wealth, prosperity, abundance, family and friends. You know, just say that before you go to bed. Just run that through your mind. And just see how things will change. How you will get more of that. Better. You know, and how you will have less worry. Okay, so I just want to share that with you guys. I hope you like my video. So... Another thing I want to share with you too, you got to get rid of this old debt, old debt. Some of you, and I did one time before I changed my way of thinking, the, pers the perspective of changing uh, things and looking at things a whole new different way. You know, you want to get rid of the old debt. You probably have debt back in the late 80s, some of you in the 19s, or you know, even early 2000s, you know. But try to get rid of the old debt. Because you don't want to bring all that old debt into this new decade, 2020, you know. So that helped too. So every year, I get rid of all my old debt. I burn it, you know. And I have burned a lot of it in my nice fireplace, fireplace today. Love my fireplace. So just kind of take some of these um, ideas that I gave you. And just let me know if you do some of the things that I'm talking about. Or if you already exercise being grateful and um, you always have this spill that you do every morning like I do. And I always have that spill when I go to the bed, just being grateful to the things in my life, family, friends, and everything. So just write down in the comments and let me know what you do, okay? I mean, you say your prayers. Some of you may say your prayers. Some of you may just do like I do. Just say, you know, you're grateful for whatever happening in your life. And you get more of it. So, yeah, so get rid of that debt. And I got rid of my debt. And so, what you want to do, you want to burn that old debt. Do not let 2020 catch this old debt in your home. So, you want to get rid of this stuff. Okay. So, just throw it in the fireplace. Get rid of it. See, I feel better already. I feel better already just by getting rid of all of that. 
Oh, that. I feel better already. Okay, so do not carry it into next year, guys. Hope you like my video. Please leave comments below. Okay, so guess what? That's it. And I'll see you next week. And you know what? Happy New Year's. I hope this will help change your life. And I hope next year when you make your New Year's resolution that this will be in it as well. Okay? So, Happy New Year, guys. I'll see you. Okay, you know what? I don't know what happened. I think the camera went out. But anyway, I just want to say... You know, Happy New Year, wherever you're going, if you're going to a big party or you have a party at your house, if you're going out, just be careful, guys, okay? And, um, yeah, it's a whole new decade. Happy 2020. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Appreciate it. Peace out.